stand with your feet slightly apart. Place one hand on your upper buttocks, the other on your abdomen. Tuck your tailbone to flatten your lower back. Bring your arms to your side and tuck your chin slightly. Raise your arms in front of you. Make loose fists with your thumbs up. Inhale and open your arms wide at shoulder level. Contract your buttocks to hold your pelvis in position. When your arms can't go back any further, exhale and slowly lower your arms behind you. Feel how you're squeezing tension from the muscles around your shoulder blades and further down your back. Breathe evenly, feeling your breath massage those muscles. Now relax your arms and release your neck and pelvis, so your neck and lumbar spine are gently curved. Feel the increased circulation in your back. Place your hands in position, and we'll do it again. Contract your abdomen as you draw your tailbone down. Reducing the lumbar curve, straighten the back of your neck by lowering your chin. Raise your arms. Inhale, feeling your chest expand as you open your arms wide. Press your shoulder blades together. Slowly lower your arms behind you and hold them there. Breathe fully, allowing the ribs to expand in all directions. This increases the pressure on the muscles you are squeezing, cleansing and toning them. The pelvic tilt brings mobility to your hips, stretching tight back muscles and gently strengthening your abs. Bring your arms to your side, relax your neck, and release the pelvic tilt. Close your eyes and feel the renewed energy enlivening your back. Step your feet hips distance apart. Inhale and raise your arms to show the level. Exhale and slowly twist to the left. Wrap your left arm behind your back. Rest your hand by the side of your hip or at the back of your waist. Place your right hand on your left shoulder, turning your head in the same direction. It's important to twist from the hips. Breathe softly to your abdomen. Once your body loosens up, you may be able to bring your hand further around your back. Inhale, release the twist and extend your arms. Exhale and rotate to the other side. Wrap your right arm behind your back and place your left hand on your right shoulder. Shift your right shoulder and your right elbow as far back as you can. This will increase the twist in your spine. If your knees bother you in this position, bend them a little and make sure your feet point straight ahead or don't twist quite so far. Inhale back to center. Exhale and slowly rotate to the left. Place your right hand on your left shoulder. Initiate the twisting motion from your hips and abdomen. Visualize your spine spiraling up and around. Tuck your pelvis slightly. This will help stretch tension from the lower back area. Regular practice of this pose will loosen your spine and improve your posture. Let's change sides. 
Extend your arms and wrap them around your body. With each inhalation, lift your spine. As you exhale, gradually increase the twist. This pose can help relieve mild backache. It's also an energizing posture. Release the pose and inhale as you come back to center. Exhale and lower your arms. Close your eyes and relax your shoulders and back. Get a chair and we'll do an abdominal strengthening crunch. Sit with your side close to the front of the chair. Place your lower legs on the seat of the chair and lie down on the floor. Pull the chair close to you so your thighs are vertical. Bring your right hand to your left shoulder and your left hand to your right shoulder. Inhale. Exhale and lift your head, shoulders and upper back. Inhale and come down. Relax. Exhale and lift, pressing your lower back into the ground. Inhale and slowly come down. Relax your neck completely. Let's continue to move up and down slowly and rhythmically. As you lift up, feel your abdominal muscles contract. They stay contracted as you lower your back to the floor. The slower your movements, the more you will strengthen your muscles. Strong abdominal muscles support your back and keep your pelvis in the neutral position for good posture. Your movements should not be jerky. If you find this difficult, don't come up as high. Just lift your neck and shoulders. This pose strengthens the upper abdominal muscles. By pressing your lower back down as you come up, your buttocks lift slightly. This gently strengthens the lower abdominals as well. Exhale and lift. Then hold for a second or two. Inhale down and relax. Lower your arms to your side. Bring your legs off the chair and roll to your side. Let's get ready to do an easy version of the bow pose. Lie face down with your forehead on the ground. Have your right arm at your side and place your left hand just underneath your shoulder. Bend your right knee, reach back and take hold of your ankle with your right hand. Exhale completely. Inhale and raise your head, shoulders and chest. Lift your right thigh off the ground, arching your back. Breathe evenly as you hold the pose. You can either tilt your head back or keep it straight. Move your right foot back and up to help you lift higher. Exhale and slowly lower your thigh, chest and forehead to the ground. Release your foot and extend your leg. Place your right hand under your shoulder. 
And then you left me Reach back and hold your foot Inhale and use your back muscles to lift your torso Contract your buttocks to make the pose stronger Press your foot away from you to increase the arch in your back Your right hand supports the pose and can help you lift a little higher But the main focus here is on using the strength of your lower back muscles Now slowly lower your leg and torso to the ground Place your forehead down Release your foot and extend your leg Make a pillow with your hands and rest your cheek on them Close your eyes and relax Feel the warmth circulating in your back Especially the lumbar area